The Northwestern culture is different from the rest. One of those differences is Cascadia. Hi, my name is Sebastian. A friend of mine here introduced me to the Cascadian flag, and that immediately sparked something in my imagination. Get out! We're in the middle of filming! <laughs> Sorry. So now I'm on a journey to get to the root of the core of what it means. Let's go. The aim of the journey is to kind of like figure out what Cascadia is all about, what are the political motives behind it. They say it's pretty peaceful and we just kind of want to get an, an insider's look at what it means to be a part of this movement of Cascadia. So we're on our way now to the Cascadia Convergence, which is some sort of meeting that they have way out in the woods. A little camp out, get together. We'll get stuff in the woods, basically. So we're, we're going to go see what that's all about. Fly the blue, white, and green If you know what I mean Fly it high, fly it free From the mountains to the sea We once belonged to a place Called the United Snakes Till we realized we were free Cascadian We're good, we're good to go. All right, what's your name? My name's Tanner Colvin. Josh Hagewald. Adri Hennessy. Van Anderson. Marty Kenny. Adam, Adam Fetcher. So what brings you to the Cascadia Convergence? I really like kind of what they stand for, their environmental aspects and their social work aspects seem to kind of align with, with what, I'm, what I'm interested in. There is uh, a consciousness that pervades um, public life and how people interact with the world um, that is not shared in other parts of this country. I think everybody in Cascadia um, is, is Cascadian, first of all. They might not know it, but they are Cascadian. And it kind of takes a uh, birthing of the idea in people for them to totally commit. But yeah, Could you talk a little bit more about like what you understand about what Cascadia is? I mean, when you look back at the, uh, the history of the movement as a whole, it was founded on uh, principles of anarcho-syndicalism. It's about a sense of place. Like, it's a place-based movement, and it's about the appreciation of, uh, of the environment that we grew up in. In terms of uh, the Cascadia bioregion, it's more about the environment shaping us than us trying to change the environment. What do you, what do you think about Cascadia as a secessional movement? That's not like who we are. Most of the time when I meet people and I'm usually wearing something, they're like, oh, Cascadia, like, I, that's that secessionist movement. I get that all the time. Okay. <laughs> so. If we could gradually, as a bioregion, move away from the whole nation state that is the United States, um, we don't necessarily have to secede from it. We just need to create our own identity. But I think a slow, a slow cultural shift is what it's going to take. It's starting to make a lot more sense to me what Cascadia is really all about. I wonder, what is next for this movement? I met with Brandon Letzinger, head of Cascadia now, to find out. So these are from the giant puppets. Okay. Which... Is the sound okay? Yeah. Okay. So, more than anything, Cascadia can really become a framework where we break global issues down to a local level and are able to help get people connected in their community right now. And the reason why we're not necessarily just a political movement is it's much more of a holistic approach. So we talk about culture and culture as the sum of our kind of personal interactions. And so every single one of us can be, um, you know, changing our habits and behaviors to help fight global warming right now. And I think politics, the big thing that really shifted us away from it is you can invest endless amounts of time and resources and come away with nothing. And rather than wait for someone else to do it for us, rather than send people to a voting box every four years, we'd much rather get, have people get active in their community right now and find ways that people can walk out their door and get plugged in. And Cascadia can be a wonderful framework where we can really start to begin to have those conversations and a wonderful framework where it can really help visualize a lot of these larger issues that are really intangible.